you know, at some point the whole thing just becomes so exhausting, this, this spiritual search, trying to be a spiritual person, which of course it's, it was never about that, you know, trying to reach the next high, trying to reach the bliss or maintain the bliss, trying to get to the next um, spiritual experience or reach the next level, trying to become this, this thing, this more spiritual being. And of course that's I mean, at its root, that's really a misunderstanding of, of spirituality. That's, uh, that's all about trying to be or become a spiritual person, making, making uh, enlightenment, making awakening, making freedom, making happiness itself, actually, making love into a, uh, a destination, a goal in the future. Well, the spirituality that I, that I love uh, that I live, that I've been forced to live, because the old spirituality didn't work for me, it broke down at some point, was, uh, is the spirituality of uh, being here and, and, and blessing ourselves as we are, bowing actually to our present experience, however uncomfortable, however messy, however imperfect, however much the present moment doesn't match our idea, our image, or other people's image of how it should be, the idea of the spiritual moment, the idea of the perfect moment or the good moment. This is about uh, letting all those images fall away and turning, actually turning towards this place where we are and blessing it with our attention, with our curiosity, with our fascination, not trying to, <laughs> not trying to uh, transform it, not trying to become something other than what we are. That all becomes so exhausting and I know many of you write to me, talk to me ab about this sense of exhaustion, getting to this place where you're, you're tired, you're exhausted, you're, you're sick of the, the search, the running. You know, you know, you come to see at some point, it is, it's all, it's all running, all of it, running away, running towards a future, running away from ourselves, running away uh, from our, our glorious, our beautiful, our, our perfect um, imperfection, our humanity, our messy humanity, our, our doubts, our fears, our, our sadness, and our joy, and our excitement, and our bliss, it's all here. We're alive. And all of it is sacred, and all of it is spiritual. We just, we just stop dividing the spiritual from the unspiritual. That's like the root of so much violence right there. We stop dividing the sacred from the profane or the mundane. We stop dividing the extraordinary from the ordinary. We go beyond all these divisions and we just um, bless our present experience. However uncomfortable it is right now, however messy it is right now, we stop trying to run away from it, um, run, running towards this the promise of some great life, some wonderful life, some perfect life, some blissful life in the future. We, you know, find the courage to um, let go of promises, let go of the futures. And to the mind, this is really depressing and even scary you know, to be present, to be naked with life without without the promises. But this, in my experience anyway, this is um, this was the beginning of just so much self love self-love. I realized in so many ways I was always running away from myself, you know, even running towards enlightenment, running towards some future state, some blissful life, you know, and all these spiritual teachers, self-help gurus with all their promises of happiness and perfection and the end of fear, the end of anxiety, you know, this great life that was promised. Um, for whatever reason, I, uh, I let go of the image, let go of the image of how I should be, you know, I've been told, I had been told my whole life how I should be, how I should feel, how I should think. Um, and I turned towards myself as I was. Um, and this, and this was meditation. This was the beginning of meditation, meditation, not as, uh, you know, seeking some future states. But meditation as in uh, being present and awake and alive, uh, being here, committing to being here. This is this has been my my path, pathless path. It's a path without a path. Um, so I just 
really wanted to make this video just to, to say to all of those of all of you, I can't speak anymore, to all of you who are feeling uh, disillusioned, exhausted with the, with the spiritual path, there may be some great intelligence in that exhaustion. There may be some incredible intelligence in that tiredness. Perhaps even your tiredness, your exhaustion is sacred and it's intelligent and it's trying, what it's trying to tell you is slow down, you know, be here, let go of the promises, other people's promises and bless yourself exactly as you are. Bless yourself exactly as you are.